the hand bones. You can see this makes pretty short work of it being able to go through it this way. And instead of actually having to guess uh, based on my naming conventions uh, which bones I needed to add, I can just click on them. Um, I find often I don't even name a rig until I've completed everything. So sometimes even at this stage I'm already skinning the character um, and I haven't even gone around to the process of, of naming all the bones. Might be a bit lazy on my part, but um, I'll tend to do everything, all the naming last. Um, it actually probably makes it a bit more difficult because I can't see the name of the bone um, in the bone list. So personally, I would I would suggest to people that you actually name the rig as you go, and then name the uh, you know so that when you're doing other operations, you can call on things by name. Oh, I missed the hand bone here need that one as well. And I think I missed it on the other side as well. Now, envelopes in Max are added in, and pre-sized for you when you start off. They are sized based on the size of the object that's chosen as a bone. Anything can be used in skin as a bone. You can, you can pick splines, you can pick you know, just regular geometry, you can pick a camera if you wanted uh, to, to skin your character to. Um, the size of the envelope is generated by the size of the object you picked. So the bigger the object, the bigger the envelope will come up by default. Uh, you'll note that in, uh, in Max you can add the, the fins to the sides of the bones and whatnot. I tend not to do that for another reason. It's one, it's great that they actually um, create a, a larger envelope that's more like the size you want, but they also will tilt, put them on, on an angle that you may not want, and I'll show you why. Let's just work with this one for now. Um, actually, let's pick let's pick this. Uh, uh, let me pick one that's that'll work well. Yeah, okay. We'll we'll work with this twist bone right here. Why not? Right in the middle of the arm. I'm just going to uh, remove that bone. Let's go out of sub object mode. Let's go into the bone, and I'll show you why I don't like adding the fins. And let's go and add some fins that show the volume, or we could have, uh, you know, changed the size of the bone itself. So now we have this, you know, the fins on there. Maybe we've sized them to fit the size of the arm a bit better. Let's go back into the skin, and once again, let's add that bone. And you'll now notice that the envelope has come up very large. It's also been placed sideways in the model because what it does by default is find the longest axis uh, along the X, Y, or Z of the, the bone and it puts the envelope in line with that. Now, for myself, I find this very awkward to try and weight this envelope now because it's on a very awkward angle to the arm. I'd rather that the, the shape of the envelope run along the length of the arm um, the way that we had it originally. So if you're going to um, use the fins, what I find I do is you can size them all up, but then go in and turn them off for the entire model as you add the envelopes. And you'll find that you'll, you'll get a little bit better envelopes to start with. <clears throat> so enter shade and highlight mode, and you can see that picking the uh, calf bone here, the uh, entire model is blue. Picking any of the bones, you'll notice that right now the character is staying blue. If you probably go down and choose a bone in the finger somewhere, you'll start to see that you'll get a color change in the vertices. Um, blue vertices have not been weighted to that envelope, so when I choose this envelope here, anything that's blue has not been weighted to this envelope. So you can see actually that there's very little of the model has actually been weighted at this point uh, to any of the envelopes. This can be seen right away by exiting uh, the skin modifier, uh, choosing the uh, main waist control, and moving it, and you can see that essentially the, uh, the model is, is tearing apart. What we need to do at this uh, point is start to adjust the size of the envelope so that we actually encompass all of the vertices in the model. I'll start with um, down at the foot area here uh, to make it a bit easier. The envelopes have have an inner and outer radius. The outer radius essentially is the area of effect, and that is the outer limits of the effect of that envelope. 